Are we good? Okay. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and brothers of Five Mu Alpha. This time on the right channel. <laughs> we are on the right channel here, streaming the second round of the PMA LCS Fall Brawl Gauntlet. Here, we're gonna have a brutal battle here between the Tingly Pingies, Tinglys, excuse me, <laughs> and Woo! the Let's Go. And Juice Me Family, I'm Joe Biscuit Hat Serino, your play-by-play -play caster for tonight. Joined with me is Rich J. Rachi. Uh, Maddiez, I believe, is your last Rich name. Rich I, always... I got it. Rich Jirachi Maddies. Maddies, that's Maddies. right. That's I suck at talking. Um it's <laughs> Same, it's okay. But here we go. We have we we have this brutal, brutal battle here. Um brutal battle. In two interesting teams here uh the tingly pinglies here are i believe two and four and juice me framery is unfortunately zero and six here but you know it is the playoff gauntlet it doesn't, it we doesn't get, matter it's gauntlet doesn't time doesn't matter baby. doesn't matter gauntlet time you know we've we've seen a lot of upsets recently in worlds a lot of things are going unexpectedly and you know we've seen it time and time again here you know the same thing happens so who knows who's going to be the victor, the the victory, the I can't talk. The, <laughs> the team victor. that wins, who's gonna come out victorious, words. and moves on to the semifinals here. Oh man, well, I'm excited. Well, once once we get our champ select, we can go into the players. Which that's oh oh boy. Um, no no spoilers, but oh god, the casters aren't gonna have a fun time. But so far in pick ban. JMF actually kind of going for what's been the standard world's meta champs ergot um, until I believe Cloud9 versus Gen G was a hundred percent pick ban up in that top lane. Alistar is considered one of the priority picks, so mm -hmm. Zaya, who has been seeing more play, um, even with just without Rakan, like teams have been picking her first over the Rakan. So they were going for definitely more of like a meta comp. Meanwhile, Tingly Pingly's picking Basically, no champions that are currently world meta right now. Nocturne has seen some plays, but the Swain and the Lucian, ab absolutely not. There looks like they're kind of going for a bit of a more like pick oriented comp while JMF going for that AoE meta. In the meantime, though, Tingly Pingly's used, let's see, or Orn, two jungle bands, and they have used their um, two second round bands on mid laners. Meanwhile, JMF. And the Zoe, Zoe, Kaisa, Shen, and Graves just kind of spreading the bands out right now. Um, so, kind of some of the typical ones you see. I mean, um, Elusa, the Zoe, and General Dill's Shen, Kai, considered must bands, and the Morgana is going to be the last band. So really spreading the love around in the bands. One band targeted at each player, more or less. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, and going off of that, Rich, For each I think... position, actually, rather. Yeah, um, I think the Tingly Pingly is also have uh, a pretty, you know, like, world's meta comp as well with the Swain, the Nocturne, the Lucian even, I believe, has been played at Worlds, as well has as the Swain, Scion here. Has the Swain been played, I think, actually? I don't, th I don't think it's been played a lot. I think it's been played in a couple of games, though. Maybe not, okay. you know, Swain bot, but probably Swain mid here, I, I think. I don't know. I haven't been able to watch every game, but... Um, Scion has seen a lot of play, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Scion definitely... Is also definitely considered kind of the PMA LCS meta currently. It's been a mix of Orn and Scion, basically. So, banning one away, picking up the other, definitely smart. But JMF going to go for the Zinzao jungle, which that's been up there in PMA LCS meta. Mm -hmm. So, and Katarina, are they? Ooh. Oh, is this going to be Juice Me Daddy's Katarina? They do it. Okay. So, yeah, they're going to go for kind of an AoE... Really, AoE team fight. They do have a good amount of pick potential too, um, with the Fear Beyond Death from Urgot and Katarina. Everything, but Tingly Ping is what is that? Oh, 
Okay, Tingly Pingly's have gone back to Scion support, which they did pick for Maximilian. Um, mm -hmm, yeah. Um, and and going off yeah. of that here, you kind of said that you know Juice Me Family kind of has like a pick comp, but I think the Tingly Pingly's do as well. We saw the Nocturne uh, in Worlds, you know, just uh, really pick off people and make some crucial plays here, um, you know, in Worlds, and that's what Nocturne's known for with the ultimate he has. So, you know, um, you know, and with the Scion alt as well and the Talia alt, it looks like Tingly Pingly's are going to be able to have a lot of uh, global pressure over here and might be able to, to also find picks as well here. Both comps are looking pretty strong. Um, nothing really too off meta uh in my opinion yeah also, um neither team really has oh i still have rob's walk counter up from the last time i streamed <laughs> oh man okay well yeah both teams neither i don't think either really came out with a clear advantage in pick fan both have really strong comps kind of want similar goals um i mean we can always break down more specific ones later, but for now, let's try to get into the players. Okay, on the blue side is JMF, who have not changed their names at all, so this is going to be easy. It's going to be Menbunk subbing in for Juice Me Kami, uh, Juice Me Hoagie is going to be somewhere, Juice Me Blue is also going to be somewhere, and then we've got Juice Me Daddy and Juice Me Mommy. And over on the red side, okay, I got this. Um, Let's see... Rare, if I can tell which one is which. R the Rip Loli Hentai that <laughs> is <laughs> currently banning and in the top slot is Hillary Clinton. The Rip Loli Hentai under him is General Dill. Bukaki Menbung is Bukaki Poro subbing in for JJ Bell for at least game one. Might. Oh, JJ Bell might be back for game two. We'll keep you guys updated. Mm -hmm. Act Menbung is Elucida, and Iron Four Noob is Maximilian slash Micro Penis Max slash Oh my God, casting this is gonna be a bitch. Yeah, you know, Rich, looking looking <laughs> here at the red side team, it looks like uh, the the mid lane uh, uh, summoner is called Summoner Three. Is that because? Uh, what? Is that is that is that an error? That's if you a look bug. At... That's a bug on your end. It says Bukaki Menbung for me. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Um, gotta love those bugs. Something, something. Riot is a small company and can't fix them. Something. Um, yeah. But it looks like here we're gonna have a great match. PMA. Awesome. Yeah. Rich, what are you most excited about for in this? Juice Me Hoagie is apparently playing Zaya. Let's let us let us go. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, that, I, you know that'd be really cool. What I really liked about this split in general is the fact that a lot of teams here were, tried a lot of different things and didn't necessarily stick to the original comp that they went for or the the original roles that everybody was drafted for here. Um, and I think Juice one of those teams that's pretty fluid in trying new things and rotating their their members so having you know the uh the fluid uh you know having that flexibility there we go uh between your you know your players on a team could definitely be very beneficial especially you know we've seen it in Golden glue Sven Skarin on c9 um Rotating out with Jensen and can't think of the uh, jungler right now. Uh, Sven Skarin and Blabber. Blabber, that's right. Yeah, yeah. you know, uh, for example, um, obviously it's a little bit more fluid since you can't have you know more than five people on a team. But um, well, you can have coaches <laughs> for sure or <laughs> analysts or what whatever. Um, but you know, five five playable people. Um, I think is like the current rule. Yeah. Right and if, now, if I may, the flexibility—it's a—I mean, it's a strategy that exists, but maybe I'll submit it's not necessarily optimal. You have, oh my God, please tell me they're not going double smite. Anyway, um, so if we look, <laughs> I saw that too. Let's. I'm. I'm just gonna take a second break down the two groups, how the teams came out, and whether they go for a uh, consistent roll lineup or flexible one. Over in group A, I'm gonna. Ooh, can I pull up? Let's see. 
I'm yeah, I'm going to I'm going to just pull up the spreadsheet while uh this goes. Yeah, here we go. We as you Speaking can see, of the, the flexibility. Oh, I got this. Oh, you got it. Okay. Okay. So, we look at the Chadwick division or group A. The top 3 teams, Potatoes Aren't Real, Labby's Ligma, and The Breakfast Club, all 3 of them did not change their role lineup at all during the group stage. And I do not believe you you guys didn't change it during um the gauntlet either, right? Uh we we did not. Yeah. So top 3 teams in Chadwick division were consistent. Juice Me Family were the only ones who had any role changes and they came in last. I'm not this in this case I don't think correlation is necessarily causation since mm -hmm. uh JMF um kind of like they went for a bit more meme draft and looked not too hot coming in but what well, that's it is what it is meanwhile over in the Burrell division the order of finish was Bung Palians Ed and Extra Grok Tingly Pinglies and Thoughtly Crew Bung had some role flexibility, mostly in one player, though. EEG had none. They stuck to one lineup. Thought was kind of all over the place as well, primarily swapping out Guy Fieri. And over in the land of the Tingly Pinglies, they had a lot of swaps as well. So Group B was, was kind of the division of the swaps. Bung using them very effectively, but the number two seed in that group had an extra guac sticking to that consistent lineup. Meanwhile, the bottom two seeds were the ones who changed up their roles. So it's while while flexing around is definitely viable, you I think you have to use it right, and that's Bung Bung Apalians figuring out like what works, what system of swapping around works contributed to definitely helped to contribute to them getting first in the group and yeah that's mm -hmm. been that's been um spreadsheets with your friendly neighborhood spreadsheet whore thanks um <laughs> going off oh, of that <laughs> going off of that give us a hashtag jmf for juice me family if you want a juice me family win give us a hashtag uh, TP win for a tingly pingly win or a hashtag bat win if you want the bats win because we all know that they're going to win regardless of what happens in this match here they always win that's my hashtag here oh we got we got twitch chat going a little wild right now we have Murphy um, telling us that he likes whores in the chat Murphy uh, <laughs> wow wow I got it Gotta give you that okay. one. I can't. I can't do. Argue I don't have. A, I don't have a response. Just flat out. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Jaundice. Uh, Rich did not say spreadsheet boy. Uh, Rich said spreadsheet whore. whore. So yes. um, <laughs> that is unconfirmed, Jaundice. Um, <laughs> j unconfirmed here. Uh, do not quote also, us so on that. Someone changed. I mean, you can quote me on that. I'm a whore. I mean, it's <laughs> oh, in, well, on, it's on in writing on Facebook. <laughs> I, I was I was saying, don't quote it. Don't quote you on um, the the spreadsheet boy. It's unconfirmed. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh boy. We are we are in it. Well, so in it here. PMALCS. That ticker is old. Woo! Let's go. Oh. I'm back and I'm memeing already. Oh yeah. And as we get into the loading screen here, you'll notice that we have the unsealed spell book on Urgot. We have the electrocute on Swain. Uh and the exhaust on Alistar. I think these are all pretty viable. Uh, runes and or summoner spells. I don't think there's anything kind of out of the ordinary. Uh, I I do prefer myself to have the ignite on the Alistair Rich. I don't know about you. I don't uh, play Alistair, dude. Or support. well, I mean, like, I mean, like, or when anything you, that's not an ADC. <laughs> well, I, I I'm just I mean, like, when you're in the bot lane, 
you know, I don't know if you prefer having an exhaust or a night or barrier on your port. Uh, Why would I want the support to go barrier? I, you know, Rich, <laughs> Not gonna lie. I'm only, I'm only gold five. I've seen some very interesting things. You can check my op.gg, uh, you know, yourself and and have a good laugh Wait here. Wait a second. Wait. Is it Swain support and Nocturne mid? Oh my god! I didn't even Steve notice this! Here. Yo! Oh, we got a... We got Bukaki Menbung here on the Nocturne mid. I can't... I can't confirm nor deny that that was a strat the Tingly Pinglies wanted to try out. But, uh... It probably was a strat. Uh, and it looks like both teams here are looking for the level 1 cheese here. Definitely uh, couldn't agree more, uh, you know. But yeah, Nocturne mid here. I can't can't wait to see the pop offs. Trying to add some FPS right now. Okay, I added like four FPS by dropping the medium. We'll live with a medium. <laughs> anyway, we got a five stack in this bush, and on the other side, not quite a five stack, but yeah, it looks like close. they're not Swain support. <laughs> yeah, not, I mean... I'm more shocked by that. Then Bukak Bukaki well, Menbong going Nocturne well, mid because that's kind of been his signature thing. Well, Rich, let me ask you this. Is it a Swain support or is it a Swain AD carry and a Lucian support? It's a Swain support because he bought Spell Thief's Edge. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should probably check the items here before I say anything. Jesus. What am I doing? I don't know, man. My... What are you doing with your life? Dude, I, I don't know. Playing league, dude. That's that's all I do. Uh, looks like we're going to have some stand standard starts here uh, for both sides there. Starting on the bot side of the map. Uh, yeah, looking good. Looking good. No cheese, unfortunately, here. Uh... But yeah, you know, Rich, uh, let me ask you this. Do you think the Katarina is going to be able to out, you know, raid the Nocturne here in the early levels? I don't know. I don't play this matchup. Does anyone I mean, play I this matchup? I don't. Uh, if there's anybody in the chat that plays this matchup, please <laughs> message me. Oh, we got a gank here mid. Level 2 gank coming in by Membung here. Tried to gank Bukaki Membung. But hacked Menbong is here to, Champions. <laughs> to stop. And Nocturne is gonna flash over the wall as well as Talia here. But Juice Me Daddy is gonna ignite and get first blood oh. here on the Talia. But oh no, we got the Zin Zhao coming in and was one auto away here from killing uh, the other person. I forgot their champion. And it looks like we got a little skirmish here in the bot lane. A couple summoner spells are being blown. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to look down there later to see how both sides are going to be able to play it out, uh, knowing that summoner, specific summoner spells are down here. Actually, juice, juice me mommy there. For some reason, I guess he like missed a, missed a minion or something, or missed being in range for XP, but he was still only level 1, so did not have access to the combo, which having a level, he had a level 2 ADC, but both the Swain and Lucian were level 2, so that kind of allowed for not quite the all-in, but that favorable trade for TP's bot lane. Yeah, for sure. You know, you, you, as an Alstar, oh god, Another there it dump. is. Oh, we man. got, yep, that, and there you go. You have it. Juicy Mami goes down. It looks like the <laughs> Tingly Pingly's bot lane knew that uh, Juicy Mami's, or Alistar's flash was down, so they were able yeah. just to go in after a sun was landed here, and that's why the Swain support is viable in this matchup, it looks like. Uh, with, you know, Two straight disgusting double stuns from the Swain, or double roots rather. Mm -hmm. For opening up that play. Meanwhile, mid. And it looks like we have a gank Another mid here gank, again oh man. on the Nocturne here. Trying to shut down the Nocturne early, and it does go through here, I believe. And it, oh, Ignite was not blown as it was still down from earlier. Uh, but it looks like we have a lot of top lane pressure here as directed camera keeps taking me up there. As Scion Same is dude. dangerously low. I wonder if we're going to go in Scion this game. Oh my god, we got another bot lane skirmish as Juice Me Mommy's going to go down. Oh my god. This w here as Juice Me Hoagie is going to get poked out here. Juice Me Hoagie is dangerously low. All he has is his flash. He's going to have to be careful here uh, and might have to blow it. Um, you know, and that's that's what's going to happen when you have your jungler uh, camping mid. 
unfortunately they can't help out the bot side of the map so yeah. uh, ooh I don't I just noticed that um, Swain actually took Electrocute and that's been really opening up a lot of burst damage on all these trades in addition Excuse me, Mommy still has not used his exhaust, has been holding on to that for the last two all-ins. And going off of that here, it looks like we have a gank coming in. The Talia's gonna go in here, and Sion's gonna land all of his spells, but it looks like both top laners are gonna flash. But Talia he here is trying here? to kite. No, oh no, no he, he gets out. Yeah, he was able to get out here. He was one auto away, though. Very, very dangerously close here, as it looks like Sion's gonna stay in lane and uh, push the wave to the tower here. I mean, that's, you know, at the end of the day, that's definitely not bad as the Urgot might miss out on the wave. No, he's going to TP back here. Both top laners are probably going to have to TP. Uh, well, Scion might not have to. So I don't we'll, we'll Scion's see. probably not going to with the wave where it is unless it gets pushed to his tower because mm -hmm. if he doesn't TP, he just misses one wave. Granted, it's cannon wave, I believe. Oh my god, the Nocturne is paying off here as Nocturne is able to out-trade the Katarina. Um, however, Nocturne did blow his Ignite, so... At the stream, uh, my bad on the camera. Sorry there. So it looks like Juice Me Daddy now know, knowing that a Summoner Smell is blown on the Nocturne might be looking for something here. However, they are both dangerously low. It's anybody's trade here. Membung is... Or, um, excuse me, Zin Zhao here is pinging up the bush. He might be trying to signal for a gank. I'm, I'm unsure, but uh, yeah, we got a lot of we got a lot of early game pressure here coming in from both sides. Holy cow, Rich! Like you said, the Swain with the Electrocute. We got the Katarina and 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 the mid lane. It's just, oh boy. Our, our guy is just one of the, he's one of the strongest top lane bullies right now. Like Jesus Christ, he says, "What's what's a rank? I don't care. If, <laughs> I don't care if you're diamonds. I, oh I will, no, we I got will a take Diamond Slayer from Garfield." Jim. Things going on here. Juice Me Hoagie is gonna go down to the ignite as his heal was too late here, and we have a little bit of a mid lane fight as it looks like mid lane is being camped again. by Zin Zhao as Nocturne is now 0 and three very or 0 and two. Excuse me, very unfortunate here, and it looks like. Katarina here is looking for the gank, but it's going to be found on the ward, but Juice Me Mommy goes down again. The flash is down. You can't be aggressive, even if your jungler is there clearing out a ward. Uh, Got to have a little bit, you know, patience maybe. I'm not not really sure, but it looks like Juice Me Blue is going to go in on the Scion, who's going to ult away and get out of the Urgot ult. Oh my god, I didn't even know that that was a way to get out of the ult. This happened. Holy cow. This happened at Worlds today, actually. This is why this is why Scion is okay into Urgot. He still gets bullied around, but he should not die because he can cancel Fear Beyond Death with by just ulting away. Wow, the more you know, it looks like Juice Me Blue is watching Worlds today. Got to got to give him credit for that. He's pro he probably cl completed that mission too. Uh, but yeah, it looks like the Tingling the Pinglings are gonna go for this early game. Ocean Drake as Zin Zhao hops over oh. with the flash call, but has to flash over, unfortunately. Uh, he didn't die, though, so I'll give him that here. Uh, yeah, going for it's worth a flash. I'll yeah, definitely, for sure. Especially this early in the game. The gold lead's only a couple hundred gold. You, you, gotta, you gotta go for it. I mean, why not at this point? You know, especially if your flash is up. Oh, boy, we got the Katarita going in on the Nocturne here, trying to, trying to put some pressure in the mid lane as both junglers are... On the mid side of the map, I guess. Uh, ooh, it looks like Zin Zhao is looking for this red buff here. Pretty greedy play, if you ask me. But oh no, Katarina is alting in here. I I can't find my champion hotkeys because it's all screwed up. <laughs> oh, feels bad. <laughs> I'm trying to just use the hockey for Menbung. The real Menbung. The real Menbung, not the other two. It's not what I think it is, because the hotkeys don't change even when you move around the scoreboard. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Ooh, and it looks like Talia here is in this top lane here, and it's going to wall off the Urgot for a good wall, but we also have a skirmish here in the mid lane. Uh, so direct, direct camera took me to that fight first, and it looks like the Ignite is what killed the Nocturne again. But Zin Zhao is here, and Scion is not going to be able to ult away in time. Yeah, Fear Beyond Death. Uh, 
gonna kill him here as the Talia is gonna push the Zin Zhao away here. Uh, nice disengage here uh, from the Talia, but it just wasn't enough to save the Scion. Yeah, the, the camp middle lane paying off the Katarina, now 2-0-2, two -oh two, getting way ahead, not necessarily a way ahead in farm of this Nocturne, but two kills and two assists ahead of the 0-3-0 Nocturne. Definitely doing very well in that mid lane, and also top lane, Juice Me Blue, and Menbung. Menbung just all over the map on the Zen Zhao. Doing very yeah, well Men as a sub-jungler. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he is just able to provide so much pressure for his team here. Uh, it looks like Scion is alting back to his wave here. He might be trying to hit the Zen Zhao as he is dangerously low on mana here. However, Urgot is here as well. Uh, could be a little bit of another fight here. Nocturne is rotating up and he has ultimate here. This might be... I don't know what's going on. But oh, he's going into the jungle. He's going into the jungle here, okay. trying to get some aggressive wards down. But it looks like we have Katarina ganking bot here. The heal is not enough here as the Lucian goes down. Dwayne is going to pop the ultimate and it's... Oh no, it's not going to be enough here as the sun comes through. And both kills going onto the Katarina. Oh my god, could this be... Juice Me Family's first win of the PMA LCS Fall Brawl here. Holy cow, the Katarina is 4 in 0 right now. So far ahead to her counterpart, the Nocturne. Jeez. Such a good room there. And actually, he, uh, Juice Me Daddy actually walked through two pink wards. One right there in that bush. And actually, no, never mind. The one the Dragon Pit didn't see him. But he did walk over ward, but. The Tingly Pingly's bot lane too pushed up to really escape that. Yeah, you know, and we could have credited that to JJ Bell being subbed out right now, unfortunately, here. Uh, and sp speaking of unfortunate events here, it looks like Sion's going to have to flash away as he walked right into Menbung. Um, again, Menbung with that. Oh, wait, it's... Okay, the names are confusing me again. This isn't... This isn't Hillary... Clinton, this isn't General Dill in the top lane, it's Hillary Clinton. I, it's not the Diamond Slayer up here. Okay, <laughs> that would make more sense. I was like, wait, why is, why is Hillary Clinton playing ADCO? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> um, yeah, the name change is kind of kind of distracting me too as well. I can't really tell who's who, but we're going to roll with it. Uh, Indeed, loving either. the memes. Um, for Find sure. Love. Sure. Uh, you know, I like it a lot personally. <laughs> that's just that's just me. Um, you know, give, you know, tell me what your favorite meme of this game is in the chat. Whether it's the Membung names, Hoagie. Uh, act oh yeah, Hoagie doesn't play Alistar. We found that out. We confirmed that. <laughs> oh okay. Um, interesting. It looks like. Oh my God, the double ultimate here from the Tingly Pinglies is gonna pay off here as the Zaya is gonna go down. Juice Me Mommy's going in for the headbutt, but it's not gonna be enough. Is the Nocturne gonna be able to get out? No, he is not, as the Swain also goes down for a double kill on the Zin Zhao here. Oh, Katarina is hungry. Time? She is looking for the Talia, who misses the pushback here and gets the double kill here. Four oh. for two. Oh my god. You can't stop her. She has six kills now. Where is the Dark Seal? Oh my god, she needs one. She is so freaking fed. Yikes. Oh man. That uh watching Juice Me Daddy's gathering. I oh, I don't even god. have analysis of that team fight because watching the Katarina clean up there was kind of beautiful. Oh hey Rich, we just got a word from our sponsors. I'm a couple seconds ahead of you, so I'm gonna Oh yeah. Hit take this. a take a pause for a second. I'm at 43. 44, 45, 46, yeah. Yeet! Yeah, uh, keep going, keep, keep 51, doing 51, 52, Okay, 53, we're at the same exact time Sion's now. Dying. As we got, yeah, as we got a little fight here in the top lane, as Sion's gonna all Interaction out again, let's go! ...of the Urgot ult, oh my god. That is freaking hilarious, I'm sorry. Um, Don't be sorry. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> sorry, John, just for spoiling the game. I'm so sorry. We we fixed that. Um, and also, Light Pulse, or no, no, not Light Pulse, Unwanted Baby saying his favorite <laughs> meme is the casters. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Bukaki again going <laughs> God out. Like, God. God. Like Katarina. 
it, While it's you're casually not... talking about Twitch chat, we've just got uh, just me daddy casually killing someone else. Just ca yeah, I mean, is it even worth announcing it? I mean, he is seven and zero oh now. Oh my god. And it looks like Juice Me Mommy might be caught out here as they're going for the drag here. Kind of risky, kind of not, though, as Katarina's not there, but she is looking on the back line here. She is looking... Oh! <coughs> it looks like Iron 4 Noob is going to go down here. Getting a little aggressive with that Swain ultimate being popped. Um, but that is a free Earth Drake going to the side of Juice Me Framery. This might... Like I said, this might be the game. This might be the upset here. Uh, Juice Me Mommy here is going to headbutt Lucian. It is far from over here, who's going to pop the heal, but it looks like Lucian is One definitely going to go, go down to Juice Me Hoagie here, the Zaya. Will they be able to get this bot tower? I am unsure. We have the Nocturne going to ult in onto the Alistar, who's going to headbutt the Nocturne away here. The spell shields pop, but will the Nocturne be... Oh my god, he was rooted. And it looks like he's going to have to clear out the wave and stop the fight. But Katarina's here. Is Katarina going to do it? I think she is. She has seven <laughs> she kills. She better do it. I mean, geez. As we got a wet noodle fight basically up here on the top lane. Thanks, Director Camera. That is so exciting. It's kind of wet. It's like a... It's like a slightly damp noodle fight. Oh, we got the Swain Root landing on the Zaya here, but it's not enough to stop the Katarina. Katarina again, seven kills. Iron 4 Noob going in onto the Zaya here, but I think the Zaya is fine. The Ignite that was not up here for Swain. Questionable fight here as now Juice Me Family's up 10 kills here. The exhaust being popped. I don't even know who, who has the exhaust. Oh, it's, oh. oh my god, the ultimate wasn't enough here to get out. He Yikes. activated the ultimate just a second too late. It was still like in it was in channeling phase or something. He wasn't unstoppable yet, so he got pulled in by that or got nom. Or got chainsaw um but a uh, meat grinder. I I don't know. <laughs> Rich, you know what I'm gonna say. You hate to see that. You hate to see <laughs> the ultimate being popped just a split second too late here from the scion. Jeez. Come on, I mean, it must have been on cooldown or something. I didn't notice. Very it was, unfortunate here. It wasn't. It was. It wasn't on cooldown. It was up. He just used it just a little too late. Can I tell you something though, Rich? I gotta give the Tingly Pingleys credit. It is 17 minutes in this game. They are down 11 kills. But guess what? The first tower still hasn't gone down here yet. Oh, I mean, this no, is. I mean, it's it a hasn't. bloodbath everywhere. No one's focusing objectives yet. <laughs> And meanwhile, Juice Me Daddy's going for another kill. Yeah, going for another kill on Bukaki, unfortunately, here. But he won't be able to get it. Uh, I don't know. I feel like she definitely could have gone in. It might have been a little too risky. As Oh, my God. Juice Me Mommy might be caught out here as the Lucian ult's going to land. But it's not enough here for Juice Me Mommy. And Juice Me Mommy's going to be able to get out alive. But the Talia might be... Oh, no. She doesn't have ultimate. So she can't look off the wall off like she did earlier. And we, Rich, give, you know, let me ask you this. <laughs> Chad Penguin, hold on, real quick. Chad Penguin, I agree. Jesus, fuck, what are these? Yeah. Yeah, the names. Yeah. Oh, man. I, yeah. He isn't doing the cat combo correctly. Uh, to the I learned. Cat main, that's, oh, God, not good. As Katarina might be caught out here. Is she, oh, my God, the Talia knockup is going to get her for the shutdown goals. Just when Mommy's going to go down, too. This might be the team fight. The team Lee Peely's need, but... It looks like Nocturne is going to be dead, and the Talia had a flash away here. Uh, a one for two with a almost 1,000k gold shutdown here. Going to the Nocturne, that is definitely the person you need for that shutdown gold here. As Nocturne is now two in seven here, getting some kills towards his way. I mean, this might be able to sway the fight. Uh, Tingly Pingly were down about nine 9k gold. 8k gold here, and now they're only down by 4, I believe. I mean, that really yeah. tiny map here. Yeah, 4k gold. They won a huge fight there, and now they're actually pressuring this bot lane. They're pressuring and the bot lane tower as Juice Me Hoagie is going to go down here eventually. Oh my god, the heal was off! Oh no, never mind. Oh no! Juice Me Hoagie goes down, and first tower go does go to Juice Me Framery, as the Scion is also killed again. The ultimate not being popped soon enough. Um, here, but it looks like the Tingly Pingleys are trying to pressure this bot lane here, uh, but Katarina's there, so they 
won't be able to do it, which is un very unfortunate here. The top tower might be going down to Urgot, though. We're going to have to see. Talia is on the bot side of the map, so top tower might be. Excuse me, Famaries. I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got, I nothing, can't, I got nothing. I'm taking I'm taking a little bit of a break here as uh Oh, oh uh, uh the, the Lucian has a forty CS lead fifty CS lead over does that no who, who cares? <laughs> yeah, who this cares? Is, game, is killing you know, people. Oh no, it's you know, Rich, you said it said it too soon here, as it looks like the Scion is gonna alt in on the Zin Zhao here. He's looking but it looks like, oh my god, the Nocturne coming in! And it's not enough, but Scion's able to return for the kill here. Now it's a 1v1, the Urgot versus the Scion. Urgot's ult is up, and the Scion's isn't, though. This might be a free kill. It, yes, it is. Ghost of the Urgot as the Katarina roamed up anyway. Uh, it's a damn shame, but bot lane here is fighting. The bot lane is ahead for the Tingly Pinglies. I gotta give them that here as they're looking for another fight. Yep. Oh my god, Juicy Me Hoagie with a clutch. Ooh. Zaya ultimate that died to that last auto. Fight. By yeah, dodging that auto. Holy moly. But it looks like the Tingly Pinglies are gonna get a turret for their own here, hopefully. As the Katarina won't be able to roam down in time, but they might have a little skirmish here for the the Cloudrick that just came up as the Tingly Pinglies are now pinging for it and rotating yeah. to it. This at this point now the game is definitely on Menbung and Juice Me Daddy, and this is we'll see if Juice Me Daddy can kind of overcome um, oh, I'll talk about those oh, in a second. Oh, no. <laughs> Speaking of Juice Me Daddy here, she's going to have to flash away, unfortunately. As as the Nocturne here is looking for the kill so freaking close here that that almost would have been, you know, treacherous. Again, giving more shutdown gold to the side of the Tingly Pinglies, but uh, well, Katarina actually, was able to get away. It's not more because she hasn't picked up any kills since she died, but... Ooh, uh, fair as enough, I was, fair as enough. I was saying, Juice Me Daddy, kind of his problem in the past has been he gets all these solo kills in the lane, he gets real far ahead, and then makes some questionable mid-game decisions <laughs> and can't actually carry team to victory. He is super fed, though, and I think this if any game he's going to do it, this is the game. Oh, no. Juice Me Mommy going in here on a question, questionable engage here. But Swain is going to go down and the Fear is going to land on a couple of the Tingly Pinglies here. But the Nocturne is going to alt in here. He's doing a lot of damage here. As the Scion knockup stops the Urgot just before uh, he was going to kill Nocturne for a one-for-one -one trade here. It looks like we got a one uh, we got a 1v2 right now on the Scion here as the Slea is going to go down. They need the Sin to fight the Scion. <laughs> they, oh my god, they need the Sin to... Yes, you are right, Rich. Oh no, and that is an ace here. It wasn't clean though, however. It did cost three of the Juice Me Framery. So, yeah, yeah I mean... I don't think they're going to... They're not really going to be able to get that many objectives off this... Um, the, what is that? Cloud Dragon? Cloud, Cloud Dragon. Cloud Drake, yeah. Air, Dra Air Drake is up on the map, so they do get that. And an extra two kills. And Ace is always huge. But they're. It's only two towers to one so far. If um, if JMF can go ahead and snowball some towers, get map control that way, then they can definitely snowball this game. And uh, going off of that, thank you so much, Zivan, for the Twitch Prime subscription. As you all know, any donations and subscriptions half go to the SEF. I'm not really sure how Twitch Prime is broken down, but nonetheless, for the here's a shameless plug: uh, half of the donations go to the SEF, and then the other half of the donations go to a prize pool. I believe that's for the next split. I am not sure though, and I do not make the rules here, so I'm un I'm I'm unsure as what's going on with donations for fall brawl but we'll figure that out as the time comes here but back to the game rich what do the tingly pinglies need to do to win this game uh oh wait is spectator freezing right now hold on a second we'll go to borderless and see if this helps Oh no, the Scion here blowing the ultimate to try to get away from three of Jushmi family's team members here. Uh, oh, we just got the confirmation from Heyroot328. All donations actually just go straight to uh, his pocket. So um, <laughs> make some donations, you know, give some money to Kevin. 
Uh, you know, that's, yeah. And it looks like here, the Nocturne might be caught out. Wait a minute. Will he? Oh my god, he's ulting it on the Zin, but unfortunately Zin pops the ultimate as Hoagie, I believe, also goes down. His ultimate was not enough here. Juice Me Daddy might be caught out. The Ignite coming in from the Swain here, um, but Juice Me Daddy's able to get out. Katarina is a slippery champion here with the uh, the not the daggers. Is that is that what she throws? Yes. Um, I believe so. Yeah, the daggers and picking them up. Okay. And we're going this. back to full screen real quick. Okay, we're good. My the FPS was dying basically. <laughs> Oh no, Rich, give me the timestamp real quick. 25080809. Oh, keep going. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, okay. I'm back on. I might be a hair behind, if anything, but that's fine. Do you mind just opening your Twitch real quick and seeing if the stream is randomly freezing? I don't believe the stream is randomly freezing. Okay. I have it open on my phone to read Twitch chat. Okay, then that's or... just my... That, that's just me. Okay. Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay. Um, But it looks like here we have kind of... The game is divulging here to a five-man mid here, trying to look for an engage. Both sides here. Uh, the Tingly Pinglies are down half of the kills that Jushmi Family has. However... There's some wicked damage here coming from the Talia and the Nocturnes. So this is literally anybody's game here. And that's what I love about PMALCS and League of Legends in general. There's still a lot of game left here. Even though, you know, the game... Oh my god, speaking of that, it looks like the Zinzao might be caught out. And his oh Garden Angel might, is not going to be procced, actually, as the damage was not enough. Um, Her and god the damage, was, man. Oh, and the Zinzao was able to get away. Yeah. Oh, and do I see it in the chat? We're talking about Monster Hunter, the best game to ever exist Stop. here. Stop, no. <laughs> Please. <Sorry>. No. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. God, speaking of my favorite meme. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Exclamation mark, Joe. Yikes, you hate to see it. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, we got the flash coming out from the Lucian here. Got a little scared here. Um... It looks like the Scion's going to have to answer to the Urgot push. Uh... Okay, ooh, I can talk about builds now. Um, Hillary, Hillary Clinton on the Scion did go for the split push build. It's typically the Scion int build, but he's not inting this game. So he's just, it's we'll, we'll call it a split push build. Went the Titanic Hydra is currently building a ZZ Rot. Might throw a Sterix Gage in there if he wants third item. We'll see where he goes, and everything else is pretty standard except Menbung has gone for Triforce and then Guardian Angel. We mentioned something about that earlier, and that's gonna be that Guardian Angel is gonna be huge for him. Just get in, blow someone up, and still be live to keep spitting out damage. Yeah, for sure. You know, and it's funny that you say that. I actually was watching a Cutie Pie stream uh, earlier this week, and he went the Int Scion build as well, but he didn't Int. And I gotta say. It's still a really good oh, build yeah. if you don't do the int, because if you die, you do a lot of damage, and if you stay alive, you get super tanky, and if you get ahead, you get even tankier, and then you have the ZZ Rot portal for that split push, like you said. It's definitely a good split push build for sure if you don't do the inting, which is nice. As we got Maie hyping up Cutie Pie, yeah, love him. Love watching Cutie Pie streams. Yeah. You'd well, love to see that. We've we've quieted down a little. Still 6k gold lead for JMF. It's kind of happening consistently that way. Dragon is coming up in 20 seconds. We might see a fight around that, but TP right now congregating around top lane, actually. They're probably looking more at Baron than this dragon. Dragon is a ocean dragon, so they don't care about it, probably. Yeah, I think both teams here are trying to bait some sort of Baron fight. Uh... Especially for the side of Tingly Pinglings, that's kind of what they need, as they're going to wall off the Zin Zhao, but Talia's going to flash over. They're actually targeting the Urgot. I kind of like this, actually. If they could get Juice Me Blue to die, and yes, Juice Me Blue goes down. This is now a 5v4, as the Scion Ultimate coming in right on top of the Katarina here, but it's not enough as the rest of the team. Oh my god, the Katarina might be caught out as Katarina is down to half health here. This is just the fight that the Tingly Pingleys needed here. This might sway the game here. Tingly as Zinzao is going stuff. in for the re-engage, though, as the 
Zaya is going to alt for the double root, I believe. Oh my god, it looks like the Zaya is going to be caught in the Scion root here. And Juice Me Mommy now is taking some damage and is going to have to pop the, the Alistar ultimate as Iron 4 Noob is uh, proccing the Zonias here to save his life. And it does here. Iron 4 Noob is so low as the Katarina all comes in and is going to have the Zonias herself here. Now Bukaki is going to go down, but... Uh, so does Juice Miami here. This is not a good fight for the Tingly Tinglys as the only two people up are the Scion and the Talia here, but the Scion is now up. He could do a lot of damage as Mungbung might have to, oh, oh, not go down, but the shutdown does go to the Talia here from the Katarina. Three for four wow. overall. Juice Me Daddy deciding, hey, we are winning this fight. Jumps in, picks off the Nocturne hits the Zonias, allows his team to just dive in and follow up, and now they actually have a man advantage and are starting this parent. Yeah, for sure. You know, I gotta agree here. I think when it comes to just 5v5-ing, uh, Juice Me Family has the advantage. I mean, they have almost double the kills. They have more gold. They have the, the lane pressure with uh, only one of their towers being down. Talia's and it looks here, like though. Talia is going to go for the steal here, and the TP is coming in, the pressure! Oh my, oh my god! god! Talia is going to steal the Baron with the smite, but she is going to die for it here. But will Memmon go down? The Scion is... Oh my... Wait a minute here! The Urgot and the Zinzao are going to be caught out here by three of the Tingly Tinglys, and Lucian's going to join in for the fight. Oh my god, the death timers are so high here, this might be what... The Tingly Pingly's needed here. Such a good macro execution here coming from them. The and that's yeah. Well, yeah. Well, actually, yeah. Good macro execution. That's actually yeah. That's a good term for it. They like, they have the collapse wow. on Baron. They used use DP get in there. Get I mean fit the 50 50. Just the Talia Lucida. Just, oh man, that was perfect. But. Yeah, they, yeah, they pile in geez. there, they take advantage of kind of the overstay and taking taking too long for Baron. Does um, Juice Me Hoagie actually getting chunked low and having the back? That lack of Zaya DPS on Baron actually hurt them a lot. And if they had that DPS there, they might have actually been able to take a better fight, get out of there, have a better chance of securing Baron by kill, killing Vitalia. But as it is... We've we've got a barren power play going on for Pingly Pingleys. Yeah, they were able to get a turret down from that Scion, that that split push Scion build as we mentioned earlier here, um, and it is definitely taking you know paying off for the Tingly Pingleys. It's it's such a good build, especially when you're behind, because again, if you die, it's okay because you still can do a lot of damage and provide a lot of uh, damage for a team fight here. And I just want to say thank you to Euron here for the eight month subscription. He says eighth months so worth. Let's go. Uh, thank you for the, sub the subscription again. Um, half of the donation, half of the subscription goes to the SEF. The other half goes to Kevin Roots Pockets, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Um, you're paying for his his Chipotle runs, I guess. Uh, Chipo I don't know. Chipotle. 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 Sorry. <laughs> Um, hey, my my favorite is Chipotle. Chipotle, or or maybe his Tarje run. I'm, I'm Tarje? Sure. <laughs> no, stop. That that one's not allowed. Um. Sorry, Elliot. I cannot pronounce your name again. I just I don't know what it is. Um, Arian. Arian? Arian. No, it's not. Yeah, it, yeah, it is. I mean, Elliot, if that's wrong, let us know. But yeah, I don't believe that's it. Oh, Elliot's done. Feels bad, man. Uh, okay, white people have to be stopped. Chad Penguin, you're right. <laughs> He's not and wrong. It, and it looks like here the the Baron secured two towers for the Tingly Pinglies, closing the gold lead to only 3k here. It's not looking good for Juicy er Family. Aaron. Er, 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 Eruan. Eruan. Eru yeah, that's er Eruan. Eruan. Not, not you, Ron. Oh, not Arian. Er it's not Arian, it's Arian. Oh, okay. no. Juice Me Mommy here is going to be caught out and going to have to pop the ultimate, but it's not going to be enough here. As Juice Me Daddy coming in and it's going to all, but it looks like Lucian's going to finish off the Alistar here. And Juice Me Daddy is going to be caught out, Rich, like you said. Um, you know, he got really fed in this early game, but he's now caught out again. 
and it looks like Zaya is going to pay the price here. And we have TP coming in from the Urgot. Is Urgot going to be able to stop this four-man push? And it looks like he <laughs> is. Sorry, error review on nice. <laughs> oh, <no>. Error. <laughs> error review on, yeah, basically. I mean, yeah, Ju if Juice Me Daddy is running away, he can't DPS on this cat arena, and he needs to be the DPS. So... I mean, you saw the one fight by Baron, he got in there, hit the ult, and they won the fight. Granted, they also got the Baron stolen from them after, but that fight was exactly how Juice Me Daddy needed to play it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, and it looks like that is the... Is that the fifth tower that's gone down from the Baron? Uh, no. It's the fourth. Oh my god, Rich. It's the fourth. Tell me, tell me about that gold lead now. What is it? Uh, 300. <laughs> it looks like the Tingly Pinglies, after all that, have closed the gold lead. Now they have a turret advantage as well here. What is that? Like a 6,000 gold Baron, Baron power play? That's I... massive. You know... You know, Rich, I'm a Symphonian. I can't do the math well, uh, but... <laughs> I'm an Asian Symphonian. I kind of can do the math. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, Rich. Whoa! We are crossing the line here a little bit, but yes, you are right. That is about... What do you mean crossing a line? <laughs> I'm insulting myself. That's... I Okay, fair enough. And I guess we have ma names like Bukaki, Menbong, and LOL. They're a lot... Or Lowy Hentai, I mean, it, you know, juice me everything. What's, like, what's a line? <laughs> what's, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh, yes, but, Popo um, Bungay, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, man, Twitch chat memes are the greatest. I love it. We got D DH Eggs coming in with the, I'm a musician, I can only count to two, three, and four. And hey, you know, I... I I vouch to say you can probably count to eight two sometimes. Hopefully, um, C Van's gonna give that a five out of seven Mayes. I'm gonna give it a seven out of seven Mayes actually. I'm gonna be a rebel and give it a, a six out of seven Mayes. Ooh, diff. I like I like the change up here, Rich. Like it a lot. Okay, this is seriously anyone's game. Like, oh my god. I mean, the momentum might be. Oh wait, hold up, hold up. Oh, we got a death push coming in, but the scanner is going to come in clutch here as we're having a 5v4 team fight here. And it looks like Talia's going to get out alive, and Juice Me Mommy's going to go down here. Iron New Popsy Ultimate, but Urgot was able to kill the Lucian now, but that's not enough. They're still going in here, and it looks like the Swain's going to go down as Righteous well. Glory. Yeah, Juice Me Daddy is, or Juice Me Blue is popping the Righteous Glory here, looking for the Talia, but Talia is going to be able to blast Kona away here. However, Rich, can you, uh, can you take the camera is, down to ah, bot lane? Yes, I can. There it is. The inhibitor tower is going down. Oh my god, that split push Scion build coming in so clutch. Yeah, and that's gonna, it's gonna draw enough attention, they can't get any towers off that fight. They can't get any towers, and Juice Me Daddy is so low here, as Sterax Gage is being rocked here, and the Ignite's gonna come out. Juice Me Daddy is so low, but the Inhibitor might go down oh. to Scion Pass, and no, Alistair's gonna have to butt him, headbutt him out here. CC is how you beat that Inting Scion, quote-unquote. Knock him away, if he's not on the Inhib, he can't damage the Inhib. Exactly. But, wow, a lot of damage coming out to that inhibitor here. As Membung is might have been caught out there for a lot of damage. Again, that Talia. Oh, man, they're doing, so they're doing damage. Elder when Menbung is so low. This is so risky. This is very risky. The Talia ult is up, as well as the Nocturne. It is a 5v4. It is a 5v4. The Nocturne ult's going to go in, but the blue team is still able to get the Dragon. And Nocturne goes down. He went a little bit too deep for my liking here, as now... Juice Me Family is looking to fight, and actually they're going to hold off. They need to take, they're going to take that and just go to Baron. They, they, oh, Juice Me Hoagie's still low, but they have prior, They just have positioning priority in every way. They really do TP. with the Nocturne being out. However, Cyan has the TP here. Five he people, this Baron goes down so fast with a Mountain Dragon, too. Gotta Seven. love those Mountain Drakes. Oh, that was a headbutt. Oh butt. no, okay. Juice Me Mommy is gonna just headbutt oh, himself what? out of the pit! And Talia coming in with the Baron Steel, that is number two! 
Oh, wait, the suede steel actually. Oh my God, Juice Me Blue is looking in here, and Sion's gonna have to flash over the wall into Red Pit, um, or uh, the Red Buff Pit. My bad. Um, and it looks like here that is a second bear buff here for the Tingly Pinglies as Juice Me Daddy is rooted. I thought Swain might be able to get her, but it is. It looks like not. What was that Swain steal? What? I don't even know. What did he steal it with? Was it I like an auto? Know. We're going to have to get a replay it of that. It might have I'm gonna... been... What? Oh, his Q? What? Okay, wait. What's his root? Is his root his Q or E? I believe it's his E. Yeah, I think that was his E. Wow. What? <laughs> You'll love to see that. So Such a spicy game here. I am sitting at the edge of my seat here. With all the anticipation, I don't know what's going to happen next year. As, you know, the gold lead is, there is no gold lead. The tower lead is on the side of the Tingly Pinglies, but the kill lead is on the side. Live on PMA LCS, watching Jirachi lose their mind in real time. <laughs> you love to see that. Yeah, you, you love to see it. I hate to see it. <laughs> oh, feels bad. As you, did, Rich, did you see that? Dwayne unfortunately wasn't able to kill the Grop yeah, as a reset. I That's not very to say unfortunate. <laughs> Sorry. That's Sorry. Steven Lowe. Why aren't you like a Rise One Trick Pony or something? Ooh, yikes. Ooh, wait. A That's a yikes. <laughs> oh, But hey. anyway, it looks like Iron New 4 might be caught out here by the Urgot here, and they do have the Elder Drake, so they're going to go in. But oh my god, Juicy Blue is taking a hell of a lot of damage here. The Nocturne ult's gonna come in, but the Swain does go down eventually. Nocturne coming in here and goes down as well. He is a squishy glass cannon here, but Juicy Me Daddy does go down to the Lucian here. I just would like to point out, Juicy Me Daddy was 7-0 and in this game, and now he is 11-3 as Membung goes oh, down too. And wait! Split push Sion! Split push Sion coming in clutch! As, as long as they stop the back CP can end the game right here. Oh my god, Juicy Mommy going down as well. It looks like it is possible here. The heal coming in for the speed buff. Ju oh my god, the tingly tinglies the might have it. They're gonna end it. It's just the Urgot alive versus three. And here they come. It's gotta oh be a hero. God. The ultimate coming in here. And that's oh the second. Oh my god, power. that's game! EGWP first win here for the Tiggly Pinglies. You saw it here live, PMA LCS for game one. The Mad Lads actually did it. Oh my god. Holy moly. And look at that. They were down 12 kills. I can't believe it. I oh my god. I really thought Juice Me Family would be able to pull it out. But unfortunately they weren't. Now, Rick. I don't have anything. <laughs> I just straight up don't. I, okay. For me, I think I got to give MVP to Iron Noob 4. Oh, my. Or Iron 4 Noob. Oh, my God. That second Baron Steel, for me, definitely sealed the deal here. Um, I, hmm. I, you know, I, I mean, that, or you could give it to Sion. Talia. Lip push. I, that. I'm going to give it to Talia. Or Talia. For the, for the... Fir first Baron Steel. Didn't have the greatest early game in the world, but she had some clutch seismic shoves. Either that or the Lucian, who was just going off in fights. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Here, uh, is somebody making a straw poll right now? If not, I'm going to pull one up here. It'll take yeah, me a couple it. of, it'll probably take me a minute here. Probably should have pulled it up. Earlier, uh, MVP, we have in the top lane, I'm going to put Scion, and then I'm going to put Talia, Knock. Oh, wait, it's an MVP of the, hold up, don't make that, it's an MVP of the series, we forgot, thank you, it is the MVP of the series, thank you, Chad Penguin. Oh, okay, sorry, yeah. my apologies, thank you, Chad. We're good. Penguin. Well, you know what? I'm going to make an MVP of the series. Well, don't make that. Yeah, we all know who well, wins the I series. Just, hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just put, a, just put a title. 
Um, okay, well, I'm gonna stop the stream for a second so we can, yeah, uh, cut the VODs. Uh, when we come back, we will see uh, Jirachi continue to just absolutely lose their fucking mind in real time. We'll be right back, guys. <laughs> 